In this video, we're going to talk about Talkback's new multi-finger gestures. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and I make videos on technology and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. If you're interested in that type of video, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. So first, Talkback is the screen reader on Android. This is different from voice assistant with Samsung devices. You can still get Talkback if you go to the Play Store, download the Android accessibility suite and I will leave a link down in the description and that will give you not just talkback but also other features like select to speak and other options too depending on your Android version and your phone. I have done a lot of other talkback tutorial videos and if you're interested in learning the basics of talkback you can click or tap right here in the YouTube cards to go to the talkback 101 playlist. But today we're going to focus on the multi-finger gestures that have have just been pushed out and actually they're technically still under development. So I am running Android 11 and this right now is only available with Android 11 with the latest um, update of Android Accessibility Suite. So I have TalkBack enabled and we're going to go to the TalkBack settings. I'm going to use Google Assistant and since I have a Pixel 2 XL I can squeeze the phone to call up Assistant. Open accessibility settings. Opening accessibility settings. Double tap to activate. And from there, I'm going to look for talkback. Access search step help and download it. Access button mapper. Mobile ex speak voice access. Screen readers heading. Sh select to speak. Short talkback on speak items on screen. And we're going to double tap, tap to on talkback. And we're going to look for settings. Talkback, short R shortcuts settings. And double, double tap, tap on activate. settings. Talkback settings. Navigate up. From here, what you want to do is go all the way to developer options, which is near the bottom of the screen. Talkback developer settings. Okay, and now I found developer, developer settings. settings. I'm going to double tap. Developer settings. Developer settings. Log output level. Air display speech output. Off produce window announcement delay. And we're going to window swipe forward. Off enable no tree debugging. Off enable performance statistics. Filter accessibility event. Explore by touch. On. Enable multi finger gestures. On. Switch. Okay, so right double here. Tap to activate. It is already on because I already have it on previously, but you would double tap here to enable the multi-finger gestures. And now I can show you some of the new gestures with TalkBack. So if we do a, a four finger swipe up is go home. So I'm going to do a four finger swipe up home screen one and, five. and it Thursday, takes you to the home 15. screen. A four finger swipe to the left is going to pull up your recent apps. Recent apps. YouTube, 23 of 24. So right here, you can go through your uh, recent apps. And now if I want to press the back button or go back, you do a four finger swipe to the right. Home screen one of five. Now, if you do a four finger swipe down, notification shade, that takes you to your notification shade. Those are the gestures to navigate. So we did the four finger swipe up for home, four finger swipe to the left for recent apps, four finger swipe to the right is back, a four finger swipe down is for the notification shade. There are a lot of new gestures and it's a lot to learn. So I do have a list down in the description on our website with all the multi finger gestures if you want to print it out or just take a look at them and review them and they're also in the talkback setting so I'll show you that now. So I'm going to swipe down and right to get to the global context menu. Alert global context menu. Read text to speech to talk back settings. And we're going to double tap on the text box uh, talkback settings. Talk back settings. And from here you can swipe to the right until you get to gestures. Talk bird, speak text to verbose use pro speak pack other feedback vibration feed sound feedback sound feed, audio ducking braille keyboard navigation single tap show context me, gestures. Okay, double and we're going to double tap here. Items, gestures. Navigate up. Button. So this is a list of all the gestures available when you're using TalkBack and actually here you can change those gestures. So if you don't like uh, a specific gesture or uh, the, the shortcut or you want to change things around, this is where you're going to do it. So for example, if we wanted to change uh, swipe right, we could technically do that. I suggest that you don't, but you can. So you can double tap there. Swipe right. 
and now it's going to give you a whole list of every action that you can assign to that gesture. Focus, for, focus, last, scroll back, scroll forward. You can double tap on what you want and it will take effect right after that. But we're going to go all the way down until we get to multi-finger gestures. Swipe down, two finger tap, plus feedback, showing multi-finger gestures, heading. So right here, if you do a two finger tap, a single tap, it stops talk back from talking. Left and down. You just two finger tap and it stops talking. Two finger double tap. This is my favorite new gesture. It's the two finger double tap, which voiceover on iPhones has had since a while ago, since years. If you are playing um, audio, even a video or uh, music, uh, you can do a two finger double tap to pause and play. And right now you can also do that for answering and hanging up calls. Unfortunately, it's not there yet for the uh, dictation, which they are working to fix. And hopefully they'll also add that so here, I'm going to start playing um, a book from Bard. There's a geesh. Now I can do a two finger double tap and it stops the audio. So you can do that from pretty much any screen. Even if I am back here in the settings, if I do a two finger double tap, it starts playing and then I can also stop it. So now I had Alexa call me, I can do a two finger double tap and it answers the phone. And now I can do a two finger double tap again and it hangs up. So I think that has to be my favorite new uh, talk back gesture that I've been waiting for a long time. And I'm glad that Google finally added that to talk back. So a two finger triple tap can start continuous reading from the item that you're on. So right now I'm in the menu and if I do a two finger triple tap, Two finger double tap and hold. Start selection mode. Two finger swipe up. It scroll. will start reading two continuously. Left. Scroll left. Two finger double tap and hold. This uh, turns on selection mode and this works for um, when you are editing text. And I'll be doing a video about editing text with TalkBack in the future. Now for the next couple of gestures, uh, they're actually uh, scrolling gestures. Two fingers swipe up, it'll scroll up. And if you do two fingers uh, swipe down, it will also uh, scroll down. Same thing with two fingers swipe left and right, it will scroll the direction that you swipe with two fingers. If you do a three finger tap, it will open the global context menu. And so if you do, I'll show you. Alert global context menu. Right there. Top, and viewers. from there you have lots Double of different to options. Next, repeat last, utter, spell last, utter, copy last, utter, screen search, talk back setting, text to speech setting, hide screen, showing items one to nine. And so those are the basically the menu that you always have access to when you have talk back. Three finger double tap is copy, three finger triple tap is paste, and and three finger double tap and hold is cut. Three finger swipe up opens the app drawer. So you can see you there's the it. whole apps Don't list. Three finger swipe down opens quick settings. So from there you can toggle Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, do not disturb dark uh, invert colors and things like that. If you remember, a four finger swipe down is notification and three is for quick settings. Three finger swipe left and right goes through the different uh, settings. It's kind of like the rotor on iPhone. So if I do three finger swipe left and right, Rebosity. Speech rate, audio dubbing, hide screen, controls, links, characters, paragraphs, words, headings. And actually you can change what appears in that list of settings. And that's through selector in the talkback setting. And so right now I audio have speech rate. speech rate. So if I swipe up and down, speech rate, speech rate 45%. I can speech, speech rate, speech rate 60%. change the speech, speech rate. rate. 55%. So let me show you really quick the selector. So if you're in the gestures, just uh, press the back button or you can do the back gesture, which is a four finger swipe to the right or you can do a down left gesture. Talk back settings. And right here, gestures, right after gestures is selector. Active. We're gonna double tap selector. there. In this menu, you can choose everything that you want to be in the selector. So when you do three finger swipe left and three finger swipe right, these are all the settings that you can cycle through. Speech rate on, language on, verbosity on, 
Time screen on. Audio ducking on. Granularity configuration. Now back in the gestures menu, the next uh, gesture is a four finger single tap. So what this does is a pass through. So what that means is if you do a four finger single tap for about two or three seconds, you can do any other gesture as if you weren't using talk back. So if I do a four finger single tap, now I can swipe up and down as if I am not using TalkBack. So if there's some type of gesture that conflicts with TalkBack, you can do the pass through and the TalkBack will let you do any gesture that works with the app without TalkBack. Four finger double tap turns on your accessibility button. I'll do a video on this in the future, but right now I have my accessibility button set up and right now it's on color inversion. So if I do a four finger double tap, is going to invert the screen. A four finger triple tap shows the actions. So let's go to the home. Home screen one of five. Messages has one notification. So let's say we're on the messages icon right now. We can do a four finger triple tap. Alert actions. Short and it will bring up the actions menu. Double tap to act, remove. Move item. Cancel. A four finger double tap and hold is like long pressing the accessibility button. So if I do a four finger double tap and hold. Android system, choose a feature to use when you tap the accessibility button. Now you can choose the feature that you want with the accessibility oh, wow. button. So those are the new talkback multi-finger gestures and there are a lot of them. It does take a while to get accustomed to all those different gestures. And again, it's something that you can totally customize. And again, you can go through the talkback settings and look through the gestures um, so you can review it. Or I also have it on the website. Um, I'll leave that link down in the description. I'm definitely really Really excited about that magic tap that voiceover had two finger double tap so now you can pause and play and answer and hang up on calls a lot more easily this is definitely a big step forward for talk back into the right direction and I'm really excited to see what else Google has up its sleeve I'll definitely be doing more videos on Android and iOS both of them so if you're interested in that type of video don't forget to subscribe down below and if you like this video hit that like button that's it for this one thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video